Hey everyone, welcome welcome back to the channel. This is Jacob. Um, so it's been a while since I've posted a video on my PC build. The last one that I posted was on the NZXT H510i case. It's been getting a lot of traction, so thank you guys all for watching that. Um, however, I did want to post a little update video around something that happened when I did build my PC. My PC is already built um, and up and running now. I did it with a friend, I built the PC with a friend, and uh, we were just having a good time, you know, having some drinks and putting it together, so I didn't really want to, uh, like, interfere with that time, making sure I was recording things right, or getting the right audio and everything sounding good, so I didn't record that, but there was something that happened during our installation that I felt like I should make a video on, because I couldn't find much information on it. So, for my build, I got this motherboard, the Asus ROG STRIX. B 450F gaming motherboard. It's a really nice board. Yeah, I got a good deal on it and it was compatible with the processor that I wanted to put in, which was the AM the third generation AMD Ryzen 7 uh processor. It is the 3700X as you can see up there. It has 18 cores. Let me zoom in here. 18 cores, 16 threads, 4.4 gigahertz max boost and a 3.6 base. It also came with this CPU fan cooler, the Wraith Prism Thermal uh, CPU fan. Um, and it has RGB lights on it, which is pretty cool. And I've heard good things about these, so I figured I would just use that instead of trying to go a different route. So, uh, during our installation, I, uh, I got my CPU on here, I put the fan on, got my RAM, uh, my M.2 that I'm using on there, Got it into the case, got the wiring figured out, put my uh, GPU in there, uh, got the PCU in there as well, got everything wired up, and uh, we thought we were good to go. So we plugged it into my monitor, booted it up, and uh, the fan, the CPU fan, <clears throat> excuse me, it would spin maybe like three times or for maybe like two or three seconds, I would say, and then it would just stop. The RGBs would be still going, but the fan itself would not run. And uh, at first we thought it was kind of weird, but we waited until the BIOS booted up and it gave us the error to check your CPU fan because it might not be properly um, connected to the motherboard or to disable it. And disabling it would be more so if I was using a uh, liquid cooler or something like that where you don't have an actual fan to monitor. So it was saying, check your connection or disable the uh, the fan monitor if you're not using a fan. Well, we were using a fan, so obviously we went, we checked the connection, we turned the computer off, checked the connection, and we realized that we had put the pin uh, plug-in upside down on it. So we're like, okay, just a simple mistake. We flipped it around, booted it back up, same problem. So we were like, okay, where do we go from here? Um... Well, we decided, hey, let's plug it into a different port on the motherboard itself. So we decided to um, plug it into one of those ports to see if it would work. We plugged it into one of those ports, same exact problem. So we're like, okay, there's a better chance of having a problem with the fan itself than to have shorted out the motherboard somehow on that one CPU fan slot from plugging it in the wrong way. So... Um, we were thinking that it would be the fan. So, just to double check, I took my old computer. I know it's ancient. <laughs> so, um, this one obviously has a CPU fan on it as well. And it happens to be the four pin connector. I thought it might be a little bit too old to use, so I wasn't sure, but it was perfect to use. So I uh, just plugged this boy into the motherboard, my new motherboard, to see if it would work. And when I plugged it in, ran perfectly fine, no problem. So we're like, okay, cool. We know that it is the CPU fan then, or it's gotta be, unless it's just something else. We wanted to take like the uh, most direct course of action based on what we knew. So at the time, what we were thinking at the time, also keep in mind, this was pretty late at night that we were doing all of this. So the next day I popped out my processor, well, I took the fan off, popped up my processor, took it back to Micro Center where I bought it from, and I returned it to get a brand new one. 
And I told them that, hey, this fan is not working right. So they exchanged it out for me. And I brought it back um, yesterday. Put the C new CPU in. Put the fan on top of it. It took it a while to, to boot up, obviously, because I stuck a new processor into it. But then once it booted up, it gave me the same exact problem. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so I was like, great. Like, it... It's got to be something else. I'm like, you know, I don't think I shorted anything out on my motherboard. We already got a brand new one. Like the chances of this, a second one, having the same exact problem are pretty slim compared to the problem being somewhere else. So <clears throat> what I did was I decided let's check the BIOS and make sure that they're updated. So I went in to the BIOS. It was still throwing the same error. So I went in the BIOS. <clears throat> and I checked the build version on the BIOS, and I think it was from April of uh, 2019. So this year, April of 2019 was the build on this BIOS. And I'm like, okay, so this came out relatively recently, so maybe there's some compatibility issues. So <clears throat> I went on to uh, Asus's website to check the most recent... Uh, version of the BIOS, and it was from, I believe it was from this month, which is August of 2019. Um, so I downloaded the latest version, and I'll have it linked in the description below to the website for this specific board. If you have a different board and having the same problem, you'll have to look up that specific board, but I'll link this one in the description down below. Um, so I went to their website, I got the most recent version of their BIOS update. I cleared off a USB that I had sitting around just to be safe. <clears throat> I put that, I unzipped the file and I put it onto, uh, onto that flash drive. And then I put that flash drive into my new computer. I was using my, my laptop to do all this because obviously I can't use my new one to do it. So I got it into my new computer, booted into the BIOS, and then I did an install of that um, of that new BIOS update. And if you're curious on how to do a BIOS update, um, I'll try to link below the thread that I read on how to do it, because um, it might vary depending on what um, BIOS you're looking at. If it's like a newer one or an older one, it could vary. So I'll link that down below as well, or I'll try to if I can find it again. So I went through, updated the BIOS, and it was a little bit glitchy at first. Like it took some time, like it rebooted. And then like the fan, the CPU fan started running more consistently. <clears throat> However, um, it would like run consistently for maybe like five seconds and then stop and then do it again and then stop. And then finally, after a little bit of time, it just would run consistently. It booted up into the BIOS and it threw like a weird error at first. However, I realized it was probably like because I left my USB still plugged in. So I took that out and then everything worked perfectly fine. So once it seemed to be fine, CPU fan was running properly and uh, I was booted into the BIOS. I turned it off and I turned it back on. It would boot through. It would show the uh, Republic of Gamers uh, logo and give you the option to boot in the BIOS. And if you didn't go into that, it would go into please insert a bootable uh, drive option. So like Windows, like if you were going to install Windows, that's when you install it. And so that is how I fixed that, that problem is I had to just update the BIOS, which seems like the pretty, like the most basic thing ever. Um, however, that ended up working. Um, it's a pretty easy fix and I'll try to link everything uh, that I was talking about down below. Um, so let me, uh, let me think what, what to do next. Let me, I'll cut here and I'll get a good shot of how my setup is working now and what it looks like. All right, so here we go. This is my build here. Um, I just have it tucked in in a corner of my L desk here. So as you can see, the case is all set up how I want it to be. <laughs> there's a, there's a couple, let me see couple hand or fingerprints right there I'll have to clean off later but yeah as you can see it's running perfectly fine now um, with no problems 
Uh, it does, it obviously keeps the uh, CPU temp very far down, which is good because before when it wasn't running, it would quickly rise up, which was causing a problem. And it was a little hard to troubleshoot that because we could only keep it on for so long or feel comfortable leaving it on for so long. So yeah, got my uh, GeForce RTX down here. Um, I went with the G-Skill RGB Trident Z RAM, which I really enjoy. Um, obviously my NZXT case, and it's got the RGBs going in there. Uh, so the one that was back there and the one that was up top here. Um, I have the fan in the back, which is blowing exhaust out. And then I ended up putting the other fan, which happened to be on the top before, onto the front as a uh, flow in. So it's pulling air in through the front. I realistically probably should have put it up there, but it's fine. I just leave it down there for now because my plan is to get more fans anyway. But it'll pull in the cool air from down here, be inside the case here. You got your fans going on there, your fans going on here, and then your exhaust fan out the back. And all in all, everything is very quiet. Like you can hear a little bit of sound, obviously, from things running, but uh, it's not nothing crazy. So all in all, I'm extremely happy with it. It runs super fast. Um, the really nice thing about this board was that it had two places for M.2s. You can kind of see one up here. It's kind of hard to show when I have everything put together already. But there was one up here, and then there was one that's kind of hidden by the GPU down here. And so I was able to stick my M.2 down here, and you won't even be able to see it, So, which is really nice. Um, my next step is I have uh, two uh, big hard drives, so two normal disk spinning hard drives that my friend is cleaning off for me that I'm going to stick in here and use those uh, as extra storage. And then um, the other thing that I realized that I'll probably make a quick separate video on is about the NZXT um, lighting. So I had some misconceptions about the lighting and there's obviously the pre-built in lighting here. However, you can get additional accessories for it, but you have to make sure things are, you have the right things for it. So I'll probably make like another quick video on that. I, I won't show it in here, but yes. So all in all, I got my CPU fan working, the Prism Wraith, the AMD Prism Wraith, to work with my um, ASUS motherboard by updating just the BIOS. Um, and I'll probably have it skipped over within this video, so those of you who are looking for troubleshooting can just find it right away, uh, rather than having to like scrub through my whole long explanation of what I went through. So yes, problems with the Prism Wraith uh, CPU fan on your ASUS motherboard update the BIOS. Do that first. That is probably what you need to do. So again, uh, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on this. Uh, if you like my videos and you continue to uh, like to support me, feel free to hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. Uh, if you want to follow along with uh, more videos I post or if you're interested in that NZXT video that I will be making shortly, um, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. It'll let you know every time I put up a video on my channel. Um, I do post daily, so if you're not interested in getting notifications all the time, you don't have to hit the notification bell. Just hit the subscribe button and it'll put those videos in your subscription uh, inbox so you can view them at your convenience. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was very helpful. I will catch you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.